We're gonna go out and feed the girls in the field. And it's getting ready to rain. Hey everybody, beekeeper Dave, and this time it's beekeeper Mary behind the cameras. We're trying some new tricks out with audio, so this may sound great, or it may sound... I don't know. You will. Anyway, we're out here after what may have been the dreaded fluorona and a few days in bed and uh, mild flu symptoms. Better now, nobody's around us and we are fourth time vaxxed, just for the record. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, it's a beautiful, beautiful, clear day outside. Light hazy clouds high above. The girls have had sun for a few days and we're coming to check on them and feed them. And we're looking forward to uh, some good results. So thanks and let's follow along. Doing it. It's just decorative. Okay. During the cold winter when almost nothing is in bloom, we supplement the bees' food with sugar water for calories so they can keep warm. As soon as we see spring coming and flowers starting to bloom, we cease the sugar water and allow the bees to forage on their own. Okay, so here we've come up on this other hive. They've been nudged aside, and I'm going to be guess that it was a wild boar. I wish I had a nice little nursery rhyme to go with throwing spiders out of your feeding chambers in the hives. But <laughs> when you open it up and you find a lot of dead bees in there, chances are there's a spider living in there. Here. Out. Out. Get your bee out. I'm going to float you all if you don't get out. And that would be bad. You don't want to float. This is one reason why we're going to the <laughs> the jars, the jar feeders. <laughs> jars feeders they, have they their all, own issues. And, and I will say that it seems to depend on the colony. Some of them are very good at not, you know, I mean this this is just really indicative that the um, the colony is really strong. They ate everything, and they were you know digging out the scrapings. And this but, is the uh, downside of having small jars. <laughs> that they get empty faster. <laughs> we tried bigger jars, but I don't know if that's a good solution either because they get kind of cloudy and uh, they get real they're, hard to open. They're actually harder to get open. That's the biggest <laughs> And it's better to have them all kind of uniformly sized. But yeah, they're a little small. Here, so get, everybody gets a free ride. It's like the the amusement park for a brief moment. You make sure it's coming this is, out. This is the Tilt-A-Whirl part. Tilt-A-Whirl part. And then we gently put it back on. It's also a nice way when you open it up, you can see into the cluster there. You can, you get a good idea of how strong it is without exposing the entire population. Hey, thanks for being with us. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for upcoming episodes and let us know what you'd like to see and what you'd like to find out about in beekeeping and life here in Israel with neshikad.com. Take care.